at the condo, getting faded for the weekend. Rolling big though with my girl in the deep end. And the two though, riding around, yeah, we speeding. Every day the weekend, I ain't never leaving. Now I'm messed up, getting paper with my best friends. I'm a mess up, I'm the best, nothing less than. Shawty, what's up? Come on, ride in the S class. Backwards in my ride, in a bottle in my left hand. Rockstar shit, I feel like guys. Pull up to the telly, smoking gas in the lobby. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel, Gang Fam Squad. What is up? Let's just do it over again. That sucked. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel, Gang Fam Squad. What is up? Today, we are going to be putting in a quick release wheel in the 240SX. If you missed last video, no big deal, but we real, hooked it up. We got a 350 night wheel and all the needed accessories so we are going to be ripping out the old steering wheel and assembly and replacing it with grip royals hub and wheel that's today's video without further ado let's get started thank you guys so much for watching see you outside Now I will be retracing my steps after this video. Um, I ordered everything that I will possibly need to fix the cracks in the dash, refinish it, and make it look as OEM as possible. All this stuff is coming in, so the interior is gonna get gutted again. Whatever, but since the wheel is here now and the stock wheel is just clapped out, let's just put that in so you know. Scene points, right? That's what we're all here for. So Let's get it. So here is the steering wheel we are going to be replacing today. This thing is pretty clapped out. Uh, it's definitely seen better days. There are approximately two or three screws on the back um, that you have to remove to take this wheel out. Because my 240 is super clapped, we have to do none of that today. A couple of things that we need unplugged. We have a master bolt in the middle that we have to break. It looks like a 16, 17 maybe, I could be wrong. So let's see what we need and get this shit started. So the nut at hand turned out to be an 18, or excuse me, a 19. Now, this is self-explanatory, but if you are new, you always want the wheel straight as possible in the center when removing this bolt, because if not, and you put the wheel on, when you go to straighten it out, it's gonna be hella crooked. So. Just like that, baby. And this, you gotta give a little elbow grease. Just like that. And uh, that's pretty much it for the stock wheel. Now we're going to get the hub that's inside. This thing is clapped. Here is the screw that we never had to remove. This thing has seen better days, no doubt. So now we're gonna get the hub that we originally had that we showed you and uh, that's gonna go into here. So oh, this is the adapter right here. And this is what is going to allow our new wheel to mount into our aftermarket adapter. So whatever you're using, the logo, you always want to face up. Right where the middle is, that is where you want it. master bolt and put it on the new um, we're gonna put it on the new hub once you make sure that's nice and tight that it's not going anywhere next we are going to put up the horn wiring 
careful not to damage the prongs, as you never really want to force anything on. So I think I'm going to switch to black bolts eventually, because I feel like it's all about the details, and uh, I think black will go hard. So boom. Once you have one, lock down in there. Go ahead and get the rest. And then we'll keep it when it's all done. Always shake the wheel when you're done. Make sure everything's even. You don't want any play in between the wheel and the hump. So shaking it loose like this shows that we still have a long way to go before the horn and the wheel is secure. And once you have that play at all, let's say you have the wheels on there. So let me clean all this up and then I'll show you guys how it looks in the car. So wheel is all done, no shake, and they're nice, feels really good. I like the height, it's almost the same size as the stock wheel, I think it's a little smaller. So, you know. Did the shift knob too, doesn't like where it sits, I could put a ring in, make it bigger. I'm probably gonna get a short throw for it because this is way too high for me, like I need it down just a little bit, so stock knob. Compared to the old one, quite a difference, but uh, this sat like lower, so probably gonna get a short shifter for this. Um, vessel wise, this is broke. Have a new one on the way. This is broke, have a new one on the way. Next video, we will be taking out the dash and fixing the cracks. And uh, okay, we get it. We get it. And uh, after we fix the cracks, we are gonna put on the origin start fitting the origin kit so that's pretty much it I like the subtle details whatever guys let me know what you think about the wheel way better than this clop, clapped out stock one that's for sure and uh, that's pretty much it for this one so I just wanted to say like always whoa hella blurry that lights fucking me up I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching like always um, if you like this video sick um i'll probably see you guys on friday i'm just waiting for the supplies to arrive so i can start prepping the dash so i will see you guys when that stuff comes thank you guys so much for watching gang fam squad peace out although my heart may be weak it's not alone it's grown with each new experience and it's found a home with all the friends i've made i've become part of their heart just as they become part of mine and if they think of me now and then if they don't forget me then our hearts will be one. I don't need a weapon. Yeah. My friends are my power. power, power, power.